What else can we find around here? Ooh. That's the spooky door. <laughs> I was gonna get a kick out of, like the debris that's used to like confine your play area in these games. Cause like a city or even a building is just so much area. <laughs> like you could just keep wandering around for an eternity if they don't do something to stop you. And so sometimes there's just the funniest little like this this probably cut off too. Yep, a bed somehow came down the stairs. Oh, not somehow. It was probably an attempt to barricade, because this would make it more difficult for the infected to get upstairs. It also makes it impossible for me, apparently. It's doable. But yeah, like, they set this mission in a hotel. So they have to figure out how to cut off every staircase and hallway they don't want you to go down. Otherwise, be walking around for hours, and we've already done that part of the game. Hope it's Tommy, and hope he's alive. Oh, it's Tommy. He did a torture. But you don't make him say it, you make him write it down. And then you ask this guy, and if the facts match, we're telling the truth. If not, you fuck him up. Yeah. East one, another gate code? Looks like it. This just happened now. He can't be far off. Yeah. We better get caught up then. How do you get through the gate? Do you have a different way through? <clears throat> the lack of gas, or did he leave it running until the gas ran out? We can get out this way. Maybe the wolf eyes. Yeah. Is she taken aback by the fact that Tommy is capable of this? East one seventy three oh two. I bet that guy was mad. They didn't just kill him at the time. They left the two of us alive. Which, you know, knowing that you're, you, as the player, knowing that you're about to start a game, you're like, oh, you're making a huge mistake. It's why I held out the idea that maybe these guys are more decent than expected. But everything here seems pretty miserable. He's using wrenches. Having people point things out on maps. Torture some dark shit. It's pretty thoroughly agreed that... Torture just doesn't actually really result in answers. You just eventually get people to say things, regardless. I guess this is one way to, to try to go further. Is you have to get them to say something really specific. 
and the other one can't hear it. <clears throat> and then the other person has to corroborate the idea. So then you know, like, okay, now I have the password I need to continue. I'm not gonna, like, kill these two people and then move forward. Uh, only to find out that I, that I, that the intel was useless. A lot of depictions of, of torture in media tend to be kind of irresponsible, though. This probably isn't any different, honestly. Because <clears throat> it kind of encourages people, and it gets people used to the idea of torture, which makes them more likely to approve of its use. Because they see Jack Bauer do it, and he's a badass, and he gets things done, and it's all those government regulations and rules are just in the way between him and justice. Which is some dark shit. That whole, like, above the rules cop narrative thing is why a lot of cops go around with the Punisher as a patch on their clothes. Because they idolize, like, the renegade that doesn't follow the rules because they don't see the rules as something to keep them in check so that the people can be m remain safe. They see it as things that get in the way between them and getting their job done. And so they just, if those damn rules got out of the way, they could really get stuff done. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of Marines that have the Punisher patch on their body, and then a lot of cops do. To the point where in the Punisher comics, they specifically had to dedicate a storyline to the Punisher finding a, a cop that had that on them, and ripping the patch off and destroying it and so on, and just making it as clear as possible in the narrative of the source material that this is not an approved interpretation of the character. He is not meant to be... He's, he's literally been called by the creator of its uh, by his own creator a serial killer. He is not meant to be an idol for law enforcement. But those kind of characters often get distressingly idolized by people that see they get frustrated by rules getting in the way. So they want to think that they're the true badass. I guess I just can't go over there. They want to think that they're the true badass that can get things done these other ways. So it's always worrying. How did you get over here? Oh, I'm on the... Yeah, facing the front gate, I'm on the, the right right now. So that's the front gate over there. Yeah, okay. I know you said Tommy had a rough past, but... Fuck. I know. Are you okay? It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie. If I had my sister's killers tied to a chair, I'd do worse. I hear you. Are you gonna work it the first time? Sounds like you will. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I suddenly got really bad at this, apparently. I genuinely didn't even know you could screw it up. Because the password wasn't a document, I think they wanted to make sure you couldn't forget it, so she put it in. I say we find shelter and we set up camp. Maybe somewhere high up so we can scope out the area. I like that idea. Okay. Let's look for an open building. Preferably with no infected. Or WLF. Wolves. Whatever. I still have some of those almond things left if you're hungry. Eh, not really. You should eat something. Oh my god. What? I sounded like my mom just now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. Is it raining now? Yeah, it is. She should be eating something, though. I guess she said she lost her appetite because of what happened. She is definitely actively exerting herself. If nothing else, 
even if you're on your big revenge mission, think of it as, like, the tools you need to prepare. If you don't take care of yourself, you're just gonna crumble. And then why are we out here? Go! Jesus Christ. Get the other! Don't lose her! Go! You know. Bad start. That scared the shit out of me. Didn't think I'd ever see you again. How'd you find us? I asked about a dude with a bitch scar across his face. Mm. It's funny. <laughs> How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. Jordan! You're supposed to be out looking for the other one. What the fuck is this? You know the smuggler that we killed out in Jackson? Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. We gotta get her to Isaac, we gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. It's direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she I, knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush, I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them, we will kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second the right fuck now? Out of Can my you way. Come on. We both know you're gonna get that knife. station on that map? I don't fucking know. Come on. Fuck, Ellie. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. go around. Yep, they really fucked up by letting me live. Oh, God. One bullet. Great. Oh, you got him. Uh, Let's go. How many guys did you see? Need to be thorough here. We gotta get the hell out of here. It's definitely like some heavy foreshadowing going on. When she rolled off the ledge, I'm like, oh, she's gonna escape. <laughs> We're gonna see her later. And then he stabbed the knife into the ta the chair, and I'm like, alright, well, that's gonna go in him. That's unfortunate for him. I can follow a scene construction, like, there's not really a lot of other interpretations of how this is gonna end. They 
They keep not killing me for different reasons. This time it's because they think that they can get information out of me. They're hoping to find out how many are with me. Is that a bit ironic? Our plan is so stupid that it's working. <laughs> Which is that, like, from day one we brought not enough people. And everyone knew it was a bad idea. And there's, even they know it's a bad idea, so they're like, there's got to be more people with them. Like, where the hell are they? How many people did they come with? It's like, no, we actually came here with, alone. There's only one other person here, which we technically didn't come with. Let's get behind something. around them. Oh, shit. I think she saw me. Oh. Oh, boy. No. Dina? Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? Hit. That was apparently a bad idea. God, there's more of them than I thought. What, Tina? God damn it! You got him. Oh shit, we're not done. Okay, I mean, I guess the music was a hint. They're not sneaking around me, are they? Sounds like you we're good. Any of these guys? No. She probably does have the memory, doesn't she? The human mind has a shocking memory for faces sometimes. In her case, <clears throat> the memory would have been burned into her brain. She's probably been repeating what happened over and over again. That's supposed to be what PTSD symptoms work like, basically, is that you, you're kind of still in the experience. Like it was so strong of an experience that you, your mind just kind of keeps reprocessing it. So you can be right back there in the horrible thing in a moment. And you don't have any control over it, and it can happen at any moment. Which is called... Getting triggered. That's why people have content warnings, which they renamed from trigger warning, because people were like... Weirdly mad at trigger warnings existing. Like, fuck you, people who suffer from PTSD and could use warnings about some of the things that would trigger said things, because you've actually had hard lives, as opposed to all the people that just like to fucking complain, apparently. turns out your fun and experience is really ruined if things occur in the media that actually cause you to get triggered and then you're just, you're reliving a horrible traumatic part of your life again in a way that most people can't understand you'd rather not engage with said media then like you're not going to you're never going to you're not going to have like the intended experience at that point so it's kind of a moot point We're definitely using this grass. Everybody down here now. Where the fuck those shots come from? 
I don't know. Search the courtyard. You, hold the cafeteria. I'll cover here. Right. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. No one's having a good time. No one's having a good time. Yep. Okay. Did you have to slip a one liner in there, Ellie? Up there. Scars. More of them. Watch out. I don't know. Above us. Spread out. Fuck. They were really close to me. They're gonna detect me, regardless of grass. Oh fuck, there's a lot more of them. Which one's detecting me? I can't even tell. Shit, it's crowded in here. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Please turn around. Okay. You're my best chance right now, but it's not feeling great about it. Oh god, here they come. Get down, get down, get down. Name them. Oh god. The other one's right here. He's gonna catch me. What? Oh fuck! Oh fuck, there's so many more of them here than I thought. Uh. Okay. Where is he? Fuck, we done? Fuck, there's a lot of them. Yes, there are a lot of them. We should have lost by now, honestly. We got a we got a serious case of protagonist pro, uh, syndrome here. Which is, I mean, I'm not fucking blind. I interact with fiction. <laughs> this is the norm. But yeah. Two people, 2.5 people, I don't know. Two people and one person on a revenge mission against like maybe a hundred? Not a great idea. Dina has seen some shit. Killed somebody at 10. God, where do we even come from? We came from back there, not up there. Oh, she's going up there. Yeah, they, they had a talk. So I guess I'd take that as a signal that we're done with threats. So let's just poke around real quick. Ooh, parts. I see lamps like that though, and I always think <gasps> a work a workbench. And it, it isn't often. And I think even thorough players must miss a, miss a, a decent amount of items around here, just because there's so many. Oh.
on the trigger warning topic, the, I think perhaps the most ironic outcome of the entire strange outrage that people had is that somebody actually wrote a, a novel called Trigger Warning that was about them, like mocking liberals and college kids and so on. The kind of people that, you know, because it's such a fucking rallying cry to be anti-trigger warning apparently. Uh, and it starts, a, it stars a soldier. And that soldier has like a, a like traumatic f a war flashback. Maybe even more than one in the story. So he's literally getting triggered throughout the book, but the author, who has no self-awareness, isn't acknowledging that on any level, because the trigger warning a title is meant as like a mocking thing against all the stupid, evil liberals and college kids that, ah, they hate you because you're a soldier, and here comes Antifa to beat you up, like that kind of nonsense. Like, it's, it's indistinguishable from parody. But the most hilarious part of the entire thing is the fact that the soldier is... It's not funny that soldiers suffer PTSD, but it is funny that, that in this context, this guy's fictional soldier is suffering PTSD flashbacks in a book about mocking trigger warnings. And like, it's just, uh... It's like, step one for the con- it's like, it's like the, the fucking perfect example of the idea of like, write what you know. <laughs> Because it's a horrible, it's a horrible way to represent soldiers, in like a really blind way to talk about them. You might really embarrass it. You might really embarrass yourself if you do that. Don't do that. No, all these dead ends don't have things in them. There's something so specifically hauntingly beautiful about a previously inhabited area crumbling into ruins while overgrown and like have, with rain going over it. There's always something neat about it, even though it, sh it doesn't really have any positive implications. Well, this definitely looks like a place where a fight happens. I think that constantly, though, don't I? Yeah, that, this is not where she fell. Was she? Oh, she wants me to look at something, so maybe we're fine. Fuck these wolves! Steal their shit. Yeah. Steal all their shit. Thank you. Oh, there's a candy bar. Now I'm healed. Oh yeah, she is eating stuff every now and then. I guess. I guess there's that. Hey, where did you? Oh fuck! What? Is there somebody else going to attack me? All right. Hey, you two. The front crosser's gone. Oh. You seen anything? No. No. Cover this roof. I'll check over here. Uh oh. You sure she's not on the street? Did you look? How would she get down there? I don't know. Has this been called in? Quickly, 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 quickly. Where's the other one? Tina? Tina, where'd she go? Oh, he turned around. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is. Somebody else was talking. Where the are oh, they there? I, it's. It turns out it's hard, a little hard to see white on white sometimes. Are you gonna find the body? Yep. Don't call it out. No, no. Oh boy. Oh, she is not facing the right direction for this. It's too real. It's too real. I think that's it feels. It feels too real. Let's not find out. The verisimilitude. 
is there. <laughs> I thankfully don't know. I don't have a reel to compare it to, but there's too many distressing, struggling details that make it really feel real. Ugh. Oh, I, I could have been extra creative. I could have, I could straight up crawl under these things. I don't know how, f eh, you could do something with that. I don't know how practical that is. Are there any items hiding under any of these though? See, I spotted these on the way in. The, the, there was the gap underneath, but I didn't necessarily have a plan. I feel like it's a, way, a good way to get yourself in a more compromising position rather than a good one like an ad advantageous one you saved my life Dina let's try to fuck it up huh suddenly supplies are everywhere yeah, so, so I think that uh, besides character development, that whole non-linear part was like a chance to get some upgrade items, basically. Because the, most of the supplies weren't really so much a thing. I, th th I think they wanted to avoid screwing up the, the supplies balance for the rest of the game. By not having the big open area totally drown you in the stuff. But I need more of these. But they could, get, they could give me the... Uh, they could give me, like, the pills and the parts, because those are completely different progression systems. Play his photograph. Read. That's not reading. There's nothing to read. <laughs> that's a- oh, that's a boob. That's a, that's blood on the boob. It's like, what am I looking at here? Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two-week, on, on a two-week at the TV station. Scar is spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leia. Something to hold you over. Scars are spotted in the area. Is that what they call the walkers? Or is that another faction? Maybe we'll get context at some point. Hmm. They're just reminding us that we're killing real people. Every every execution is distressing to sit through. And uh, they, all have, they all have names and people. All right, let's keep going. 